Hey everybody, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor here. I'm excited to be able to talk to you today about blue light blocking glasses. People have been asking me a whole host of questions about them. Are they effective? What should I be looking for? Do they even make any sense? They're kind of goofy looking. Do I really want to have these? Let's talk turkey about blue light blocking glasses. So blue light blocking glasses are pretty interesting in terms of what are they supposed to be doing? They're supposed to be blocking a particular wavelength of light called blue light or what we call cyan. This is between 450 and 480 nanometers, which is a very small wavelength. The reason that we want to block these waves is because when blue light hits a particular cell in your eye called a melanopsin cell, it turns off the melatonin faucet in your brain. Remember everyone, melatonin is that key that starts the engine for sleep. And so we want that going, especially right before bed. So if you think about it, you might be getting some blue light exposure before bed. Where would that be? Well, we've got lights that are going on in our homes, but of course there's televisions, there's cell phones, there's laptops, there's a whole host of different sources of blue light. So putting these glasses on should have a good effect on our melatonin production should wait a second dr bruce do they work or do they not work so let's go to the research and let's find out a study actually was just talked about very recently in the harvard business review where they looked at people managers using blue light blocking glasses and did it improve the productivity of their work they had fake glasses and real glasses and they had them wear each one and then looked at different levels of productivity wouldn't you know, we saw almost a 7% increase in productivity just by manager. I know, just by managers wearing blue light blocking glasses approximately two hours before bed. Okay, so now we know about the time frame. How do we determine which are the good blue light blocking glasses? Well, there are three different aspects to blue light blocking that are going to be important. Number one, are you blocking the right frequency? Number two, are you blocking brightness? And number three is the angle in which the light hits your eyeball. The first one is easy. We know that we can put a coating on a lens and we can block out that frequency of light. That's easy. The second one, brightness, has to do with the amber color that you see many of these blue light blocking glasses. If it does not have the amber color, it does not affect brightness and therefore is not very effective. I know it looks a little goofy wearing blue light blocking glasses. My daughter tells me I look like either Bono or Elvis Costello, um, if you remember who those folks are. Um, and I am not a rock and roller for sure. But I can tell you that they are very, very effective. Now, I also wear them myself approximately 90 minutes before bed, and I'll tell you why. Um, I have two children. One is a 17-year-old and one is an 18-year-old, and they're both gamers. And so guess what? They would love to play their video games at night before bed. And when I discovered that they were doing this, I put blue light blocking glasses on their little eyeballs. And guess what? Now they can fall asleep better and do better in school. So I actually had a great experience in putting them on my children. That's my only data set um, as of right now. But we do have that Harvard Business Review article. And there's quite a bit of information in the literature about the effectiveness of blue light blocking in helping with melatonin production.